What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Double Ladder with this Lipero Cinderace team. If you guys don't know what Lipero is, it is Cinderace's new ability. All the starters did get new abilities, Inteleon, Rillaboom, and Cinderace, but Cinderace's, I think it is the best. So we're going to be showing off this team today. If you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support. So I saw this team over on Instagram, but I'm almost positive it is another Poke. PokeTuber or like YouTuber who made this team spatial so I'm gonna be giving a link to his YouTube channel in the description below so shout out to him for making this team okay so starting off we got Cinderace you guys already know the deal this is our spotlight Pokemon for this video Cinderace's new ability is like Biro. if you guys do not know what that does every time it uses a move it changes to that typing of that move so if we use Iron Head Cinderace becomes now a steel type if we use high jump kick he becomes fighting sucker punch becomes Sark pyro ball he goes back the fighting so this is actually really really good because we get stab damage on every single move and we can change our typing say if a uh say if a water moves coming in on us we can switch to steel and eat it up way better than we would when we have fire so pairing up stab damage with life orb damage we can do some big damage with him we also got tokus on the scene with air slash dazzling gleam follow me and y'all normal moves after that but simian defiant but simian awesome i love simian so much especially with knockoff on this one we can just knock off items take off weakness policies take off life orbs all that good stuff it also has brick break for screens iron head for flinches and rock slide for flinches as well with that assault vest so we can eat up we got rotom over here normal move set with him full switch to pivot t bolt hydro pump for stab moves and protect him on top as a great lead pokemon in the bottom left corner with that eject button Big out, helping hand, wide guard to protect us from double hits, and close combat for big stab damage. And then in the final spot, we have our Tailwind user with that Whimsicott, with Moonblast, Fake Tears, and Taunt as well. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know, I'm going to actually ask question of the day. What is your new favorite ability that just came out? So we got the Libero, we have the uh, one with Rillaboom, I think it's a grassy terrain, something along those lines. And then I think a crit boost with Inteleon. So let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite so far. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has a Butterfree squad right here. Ooh wee with Sableye. Sableye is a little scary. You guys already know that. A really good support mod. But I talked about this in my last video, which was an Animal Crossing video. So maybe not all you guys got to it, especially all my Pokemon fans. Um, what do you guys think of the new DLC? The new DLC trailer looks phenomenal in my opinion. I cannot wait to showcase the DLC and the new Pokemon on this YouTube channel here and over on my Twitch page. Speaking of Twitch, head in that link in the description below. Hit follow, turn on notifications, Sheens25 on Twitch. But first battle here, who should I lead here? I mean, if you lead Butterfree, I think him on top is a safe lead. I don't really think he has a lot of speed here. But do I really need a Tailwind Mon? I could go him on top and then go, uh... Cinderace as a nice little lead here. I mean, is Cinderace my fastest mine? I, I would think so. I would think Cinderace is my fastest mine. Maybe uh, what's called beats it out. Wimscott. But that's better. Well, that was pretty speedy as well. But, ooh, wait. 184 and 188. Okay, so Cinderace is the fastest mine on my team. So we're going to lead these two. Um, Who else should I go with? I mean, Rotom is pretty good. Rotom doesn't do bad here. I'm going to go Rotom and then Passimian or Togi. Passimian or Togi Kiss. Um, bu -bu 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 he has a lot of coverage. A lot of coverage, but eh, what do I want to go? I'm gonna go with uh, Pissimian. I'm gonna finish off with Pissimian. Yo, let's get into this first battle. Hopefully, we can start off with a nice big fat win. That our last Pokemon battle was we went 0 3 to start off the season, but my record has improved since then. We uh, got a couple wins on the new season, and we're still pushing Master Ball tier. We're almost there, actually. We're in Ultra Ball tier right now, but we're gonna get there soon. We're gonna get there soon. Oh, what you want? Who you leading? You leading Butterfree? Um, do we think he's going to Dynamax the Butterfree? Or do we think he's just going to go for a Rage Powder? And maybe try to set up a Trickner? That is a possibility. That is a possibility. Him on top comes out here with the Intimidate. Um, I'm going to Dynamax and drop a Flare. I am going to Dynamax and drop a Flare. I'm thinking we outspeed this Butterfree unless it's Sashed. Right, unless it's Sashed. But do I fake it out? Anyway, like regardless, do I fake it out? Or do I fake out the Gardevoir? And, but this thing might be Sash, so. I wasn't trying to say uh, Sash on the first one. I meant Scarf for the speed. I meant Scarf for the speed, but. We're going to roll out here. I'm going to Dynamax, and I'm going to go after this uh, Butterfree. Because this thing might be G-Maxing, or uh, trying to put me to sleep. Like, as much as I wanted to just uh, go after that Gardevoir, just hit it with the fake out, because it might be a trick room Gardevoir. I got to get this Butterfree out the way, because I don't want him having sleep control and just controlling the whole match. Big old Live Bureau Cinderace come here. We're going to keep our fire typing here because I'm not too worried about anything he really has right now. But I can change the stab steel spike, which could be dangerous, which could be very, very dangerous. Fake out comes out here. Boop. 
Butterfree's gonna go down here easily. But I think he was going for a sleep powder, so I think we made the right call. I think we did make the right call. I mean, if Gardevoir goes for the uh, the Trick Room, then then we're sitting a little, then we're sitting a little bad here. But I kind of do hope he hits my uh, Intimidate him on top with maybe like a Dazzle Gleam or something. We eat it up, eject button out, we get a different Pokemon in here. Let's see what he does. Does he go for Trick Room? He goes for a Moon Blast. Okay, wonderful. Um, I think that actually might kill us. Stab and this thing Special Attack Beast. Yeah. Okay, so hit my top goes down. See you later, buddy. That's all good. You did your job. We got the Butterfree out the way. Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? I don't know what happened. <laughs> Let's try this again. I legit have no idea what happened there. If he disconnected, if I disconnected, no like error popped up on the screen. So it just kicked us out when we were having a great start. We started off so strong there, but hopping in, I guess, battle number two, but we'll count as battle number one. I still want to get three more battles in here. I'll just have that as like a little extra clip in the beginning for you guys. But here we go. Charizard, Machamp, Milotic, Indeedee, Hatterene, and Grimmy Poo, Snarl Poo. Okay, that's fine by me. That is fine. Um, you might go Trick Room. I cannot go with my hit on top for a fake out user. Um, I could go Cinderace. Dude, Cinderace just rocks out so good. So good, baby. Um, I could go Passimian. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Um, hmm. <laughs> what does Jeans want to do? Fake out won't work with the hit on top. I mean, if you go Trick Room team, like, he's got to be going Trick Room team, right? He's got to be going uh, Indeedee Hatterene off the rip. I kind of want to bring up a Simeon here as a nice lead. Bring Wimscott for a late end. Actually, can I? No, I cannot taunt. He goes for the... That's what I'm saying. If he goes for that, I can't taunt. But we'll bring him in for later round, and then we'll bring Rotom in the back end. Uh, battle number one, two coming at you guys. I don't even know what to call it. I don't even know what to call it. But I think we would have won that last one. We started off so strong. We had a good position. We were about to take speed control. We were... Well, I don't even know what I'm saying about speed control, but Cinderace was probably the fastest there. I probably could have one-tapped that Gardevoir with a Steel Spike, and then something else would have happened. But we were looking good. We were looking good, because Light Bureau, Cinderace, ooh-wee. Okay, he goes Machamp and Grimstone, which is totally fine by me. That's totally fine. I think I just Dynamax uh, Cinderace here. I get wrong with that. I wish I would have uh, brought in uh, my Tailwind user right off the bat. But I am going to go Dynamax here. I'm going to Steel Spike and boost her defense, and then I'm going to knock off uh, Machamp's item. I'm gonna say see you later item because he could potentially be life orb or this could be G Max uh G Max Machamp. So we're gonna get rid of that. This thing might be a fake out user as well, but I think he might try to fake out my Cinderace, but we're Dynamax, so we're Dynamax early on. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of last battle, that DLC looks phenomenal. Looks phenomenal. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. This is like all the new Pokemon that we saw, like Luxury's coming in the game. We got all these different cool Pokemon Executor. We saw a big picture of Whale Lord in the island water. Oh my lord. Then we saw Crown Tundra little details, but Crown Tundra won't come out till later. But still, it looks awesome. The Isle of Armor is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. So what's happening here? We got a Dynamax. Is he going to uh, G-Max Snoozy Poo? I mean, I kind of hope so, because we will outspeed. We will change the stab damage, and we can be rolling out strong. Now he goes G-Max Machamp, baby. ooh -wee! I never saw this thing. I don't even know what it does. I really don't know what it does, but we're going to knock off its item. Hopefully, we outspeed that thing. Might go for a fake out with the Grimstar. Let's see what happens. We're going to just set up a light screen. We're just totally fine by me. We're both physical attack. We're both physicals. Seal Spike comes in here. Oh, this thing's but Beery Berry. Oh, no, it's not. We're just switching typing. We're just switching typing. I'm used to the lag being like a barrier or something. A beer comes out. Grimstar gone. Grimstar gone. Big stab damage. Give us that defense boost as well. And no more screens. He didn't even get up over flat. So this is going to work out well for us. Let's get it, baby. What you want, boo? What you want? <laughs> and hopefully our knockoff comes before. It does. Knockoff comes out. What are we knocking off? What are we taking off of him? We're going to take off his assault vest. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. So no assault vest for him. Rockfall comes in here. But guess what? But guess what? We are now a steel type. And we eat that up. We eat that up, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is so strong, man. It is ridiculously strong. So good. Now we won't take buffets because we are now steel type. Dude, stop it. A bureau coming up clutch, man. Uh, do I change up weather? Do I change up weather? Hmm. Who's he gonna go into? Oh my lord, yo. Switching typings? Like, come on. And guys, I know that my face is a little bright. It's a little bright. It's very dark where I'm at right now. Big storm just passed through, so we're gonna see how that plays out. Um, I might go for another Steel Spike here. Do I go for another Steel Spike, or I could just go for Darkness. 
going for his Charizard. And I could drop a Rock Slide as well, or I can just knock off that thing's item. But we are now Steel Typing, so I gotta switch. I definitely have to switch Typing because Heat Wave's gonna come through and do some work on us. So I might as well switch to Dark. And I'm gonna go after his Charizard. Hmm. Or I can switch back to Fire, but still, if he drops a Rock there. I think Dark is a safe play. I'm gonna drop a Darkness on the Charizard. And I'm gonna Brick Break this screen. I'm gonna Brick Break this screen, so no more Light Screen for him. We're just gonna get rid of that while we can. Let's see what happens here. Charizard goes for a Hurricane, and it does connect. Wow. Soul Fest eat up? Nope, but Soul Fest does not eat up. Wow, dude, he connect that easily. Easily. It wasn't even raining. But Max Darkness comes through. Abiro, we going Dark type now. We going Dark type, baby. Uh, we we'll get that rolling. Good for coming KO? Oh my lord, yo, Cinderace, stop it! Cinderace, knock it off, buddy. Knock it off, Cinderace. Did I bring, uh, did I bring, uh, what's it called? Whimsy? I think I brought Whimsy. Which could be nice. I can set up Tailwind next time. G-Max She Shrike. I don't even know what that does. It's super effective now to my Dark type game. It's silly fine. Um, what did that do? It boosted, uh, he's getting pumped. Oh. Whoa there, little buddy. Slow your roll there, kid. He's getting pumped up. Uh, do I guard now? I'll definitely bring Whimsicott out here. I'm gonna set up the Tailwind. And I think I guard. Hmm. No, I don't think I guard here. I think I gotta I gotta set the heat. Yeah, I gotta set this heat. Yeah, I'm gonna change I'm gonna change this weather up. Get the heat rolling, do some damage over on you. And I don't even think I need a tailwind right now. I have a speed all day. I'm actually just gonna double into this Machamp. I'm doubling into this thing. He guards. He's a smart little cookie. Does not guard. We change in the weather and we change in our typing. How much damage can we do? So what does getting pumped do? Does that boost his crit chance? I kind of want to look that up later. But we're going to do a, a fairly good amount to him. Right here. And we're going to change up the weather. We got the heat on our side now. So if he goes for a water move, we're kind of cool with that. Um, Moonblast comes in. Can we get big damage here? Oh, big old damage. I'll take user recover. Oh my god, yo, thank you for wasting a turn. And he's gonna go into another cheese strike right here. Which does pump just boost the damage? Like, what's that going to do? We eat up because we switch the type again. I love this game. I love this game so much. So this thing's dead. I can just moon blast it, get it out the way, and then I'm gonna change my typing into we go for a high jump kick? That could be that could be crazy. I do have my Rotom in the back end. But yeah, Moon Blast takes him out. Um or I could just go for a sucker punch. Hmm. I'd rather uh Cinderies hit that hit that. We could go for an Iron Head. Iron Head's not bad, but we gotta make sure this connects with that. I'm gonna go for an Iron Head. No, I'm not. It's not very effective. I totally forgot. I'm gonna risk it for that high jump kick. If we miss, we're dead. If we miss, we're dead, but still. But champ, we're going for this uh, Moon Blast to take him out. And I'm, I'm feeling it. If he can land a Hurricane, I should be able to land this. That Bureau comes out. We change the fighting type. Get it. Hey, hey. Oh my, oh my lord, stop it. We take a little bit of life or damage, and then Moon Blast comes in. Says, see you later, Machamp. Dude, oh my lord, dude. Cinderace Liberio is so strong. So good. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. Skull comes out here. We're in the heat. Is that going after Cinderace? I'm cool with it. Dead. See you later. We still got Rotom. He can come in here. Hit that lightning move. We still, if we want to set up a Tailwind, we're fine. But we're chilling. Rotom, get in here. Oh, dude, ooey. But let me know in the comment section down below. What does uh, getting pumped mean? I don't feel like really looking it up. I'd rather communicate with you guys. I really do enjoy that. But that, that is going to be the game. We're going to wrap it up. We have total speed advantage here. Moon Blast comes out. GG. Match one slash two in the bag. We get a we get our first win now. We get our first win now. Let's see. What's this fool going to do? Yeah, you better cancel. You better run, little boy. GG. Going up against a Sandstorm team for battle number two. And it's also a Trick Room team with Incineroar. We got Prima Arena and Togekiss alongside with the T-Tar Exegel. Um, I think Cinderace is another great lead. It just rocks out so well all around. And then we bring Wimscott in here. Because we could taunt the Trick Room user or we could set up a Tailwind. Either way, it's going to be doing work. Um, plus Simeon Rotom? Plus Simeon Rotom, same team? Or do I bring him on top for later Intimidates? But I kind of want to go into Defiant Pasimian. That could be very, very well. Especially if he brings that... Uh, and still work. And then what's called this this work all around. Both time this work all around. So I gotta bring him. I gotta bring him. We're gonna go with the same squad here. We don't really wanna go with our fake out user too too much. It's fine. I don't really want it. I don't really want it. And Toe Kiss, we don't really need it. We don't really need it right here. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Trying to go 2 0 for you guys here. Trying to make up for that last video because that was crusty. That was crusty. But 
Let's rock it. Let's get it, peeps. Seriously, I hope you guys do enjoy all the content I do bring on the channel. If you guys do, you guys already know the deal. Show some support, smash that like button, and click on that big red subscribe button. It goes a long way. It really goes farther than any guys even know. Any guys even know. But we're gonna go here. He goes tail. I mean, uh, sandstorm. So we have sand rush extra drill. I think we go tailwind. We should be able to outspeed after our tailwind. Change up the weather with a flare. And then do some work. Mm, do I even go for the flare? Is the real question. Do I change my typing up? Do I change my typing up? I kind of want to change my typing up. No lie. And I'll get the attack boost as well. I'm going to go for that. And I'm just going to set the sail one. Because say I don't. Say this thing sash. Just say this thing sash. Just say it's sash. Okay, he's not Dynamaxing, but so he drops a rock on me. I'm I'm toast. I'm toast. So I'm gonna change up my typing here. He's not Dynamaxing because I believe he would have outsped me without my tailwind easily. I think he's just maybe going for an iron head into a rock slide. In my opinion, I really do think that's the call that he's doing. But I, I did want to change it to one. Oh, he is Dynamaxing. Probably the T Tar then. He's gotta be Dynamaxing the T Tar, which is totally fine. He's gonna be dropping a max rock fall over onto my Cinderace, but we're changing typings right now. So we should be good. The T-Tard gets the Dynamax. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. What you want, fool? I do have Steel Spike. We might be able to just like dump on this in hard. Actually, probably not. It's not minus. We don't have any pluses. Well, we will have one attack boost. Damn, when it comes out. Hey. He's got to be going for the Rock Fall, right? And we're going to switch up our typing. We go on fighting now. You're not super effective. Your Rock Fall is not super effective to me. And we'll get this attack boost. Shimmer Sync's not Sash. And we one tap it. Let's see what we got. It's Sashed. It is Sash. Okay, that's fine. My Wimps guy should be able to outspeed it next turn and take it out. Alright, alright. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine by me. We get the attack boost. I'm telling you, Iron Head, right? Iron Head into Rock Ball. If I had to guess. Let's see what happens here. Iron Head, yep. And we're probably going to go down here to a uh, Poker Sash and I guess I already know the Sandstorm's going to pop out of your buff at us. Take it down, but we did what we wanted to do. We got our tailwind up and Rock Ball's going to come through. And we should be able to eat this one up. Let's get it. Boop. I love changing types. It's too good. It's too good. All right, we're going to change the steel here, get a defense boost, and then uh, take out the extra roll with the whatever move we have. With uh, Pissimian? Yeah, Pissimian can come out here with a from. Or I could go with you. But then Rock is super effective to me. Let's go here. We're going we're to take out uh, extra roll here. We'll say bye bye, extra drill. I'm gonna go get Pissimian up here. Hey, hey. Coconut boy. <laughs> and definitely Steel Spike. Goes over here. We'll get the defense boost. Probably trigger that thing's weakness policy. And then, uh. Hmm. All 100%. Doesn't really matter which one to go into. I guess Brick Break. Doesn't really matter. And we'll take out this X Ski Poo. We'll be fine. I think we should be, be able to outspeed this extra deal. But he doesn't know. I'm changing typing. Easy, baby. I'm changing typing. It's big on this end. Like, he has no idea what I'm going to do. He's just going to guard. That's totally fine by me. We get, do we just get a free KO? Iberio, now he knows what uh, typing we are. And I think this thing's weakness policy, right? EQ comes out. Oh, what a play. What a play. What a nice little play, but we should be chilling here. We should be fine. Cinderace, oh, Cinderace is going to go down to the buffets. That's wax sauce. I can't believe that did that much damage to us. Because we changed the steel typing. Like, what a play. It's crazy how we still change typings. Even though we don't get up off the attack. But yo. Gotta give him class for that one. I don't know if he read me going in steel. Wait a minute. I totally forgot. He, I take back my claps. I take back my claps. Steel, we don't get the buffet. So we get another turn. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Does he have a first turn priority, Mon? Fake out. Oh, we got guard here. Intimidate? But Simeon is getting the uh, defiant boost. He's gonna fake out my Cinderace. I'm gonna have to... Uh, Max guard here. Oh, I do not have max guard, so we are dead. We're dead indeed. Oof. Oof! Can I say I just uh, do a rock slide, do an iron hand? I'm gonna go with the rock slide. This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be tough. He's gotta go fake out on that. I mean, I hope you go fake out onto my uh, Defiant Pissimian. Nope. <laughs> he takes out my Cinder. Smart play. Dang it, man! I thought we were in the clear. No, I give him his claps again. I give him his claps again. Don't worry, buddy. You, you deserve your claps. Alright, let's see what happens. See what happens. Rockside comes through. You. 
some nice damage over onto that Incineroar. And then this uh, Rockfall, right? Nope, Knuckles gonna come out. He's gonna get an attack boost. Oh, we might be able to eat this up. Let's see. We do. Pissimine does eat up just fine. It's juicy eat up. And then we go into... It's Rotom versus... Rotom and Pissimian versus these three. Or these two. Did we take out Amon? No, we just took out Exegirl. That's it. Okay. Okay. Can we clutch this one up? Rotom does have that Citrus Berry. He's looking real good. I outspeed. A Rock Slide will be able to take out that... Uh, that Incineroar. And then I think I Hydro Pump into this thing. But then he has a special uh, defense boost because he's a Sandstorm. I still, I still think we're chilling. I still think we're, we're playing pretty well here. Let's go in here. And then just drop this slide full of rocks to come down. Let's get it, baby. I think we have speed advantage, though. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we do, even without the tailwind. And we're just doing fine. Oh, no, we have one more turn. Right? We should have one more turn. Because oh, that, that was three. The Dynamax. What happens here? Hydro Pump connects. Yep. Oh, how much damage are we doing, baby? Give me a crit or something. Do me, give me, do me a favor. I mean, that's Sandstorm helping him out a lot. Can we get some flinchy poos from him? We need some flinches here, or his Rock Slide gets picked up the double kill. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he goes for Rock Slide. Double connects. Takes out the Incineroar. He's got to take out that Incineroar, right? Flinch this thing. Flinch it. Do it. Do it. Flinch the teeth arc for me. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's get it. Flinches the teeth tar. Gives us a shot here. Gives us a shot. All right. Tailwind Peter's out. I know we're faster than that teeth we're base 150, or well not base 150, we have 150 speed on this hard road, Tom. And he goes into, show me something we can outspeed. Oh, that's going to be close. I got to go into T-Bolt for sure. How fast is Pissimian? How fast is Pissimian? Hmm. <laughs> Um, I gotta make sure I take out that T-Tar. I'm gonna probably throw this over on him. Thunderbolt him, take him out. I'm gonna, gonna go for this Iron Head. Does that T-Tar one taps up on me? No problem. T-Tar protect. Oh, you little biscuit. You little biscuit. Hyper Voice gonna come out here. We did out speed. Wow, dude. No! What a read! Iron Head, we need a flinch! Give me another flinch, baby. Give it to me! <laughs> Stop it, yo. Stop it! Yo, Flinch is coming up clutch? I think so. Um, okay. So, Free Marina might be the only one to protect. Get the speed advantage. I'm just going to drop another Iron Head into here. And then uh, take out the T-Tar with T-Bolt. Oh my lord, yo. The Pokey Gods are on our side. Free Marina protects, which I guys kind of predicted. And T-Bolt should be able to pick up this KO here. No more Sandstorm. We should be able to pick this up, right? Yes, sir. We eating, baby. We eating. Arceus is on our side, guys. Iron Head gets blocked. That's GG 2 and 0. We get 2 and 0. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I wonder if we didn't get a flinch. Were we gonna win that one? Not the, the first flinch. That that was all right, but the second flinch was a little over the top. The first flinch on Titar, I'm fine with. But then the second one is like, all right, where are we gonna win if he drops a Hyper Voice? I think we it would have still been close. I think it would have still been very very close. But we pick up that second battle win. Let's get it, guys. Third and final battle with this Live Bureau Cinderace team. We're trying to get a perfect record for this video. Going for that 3-0. Going for that 3-0. This guy is Raichu, Togekiss, Conkledore, Arkipu, Primarina Poo, and Corsola Poo. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, do I just lead Cinderace again? I mean, he has Lightning Rod, Raichu. If I had to guess, it's Lightning Rod, right? He has Togekiss and Primarina. Primarina might be a Life Orb? Now that I think about it, if you're trying to protect it that much. Uh, blah, blah, Probably his fake out as well as well. Bum, bum, bum. Cinderace is so good. I might have to lead Cinderace again. It just has so much coverage. It legit does. Because you can just change typings. I'm going to go Cinderace. Cinderace. Yeah. I think I just take speed. I don't have trick room. I'm going to take speed all day, baby. I'm going to take speed. I think I'm going to get him on top. Show a little hit on top love. And then keep the fine Pissimian out of here. I'm going to keep him out of here and go road time. Let's run it. Let's run it. Come on, jeans. You got this, man. You got this. That's what I love about Cinderace. It's just the new hidden ability. You have so much coverage with it. It is so strong. You just keep changing typings, everything stab, a lot of coverage moves. GG. And then with that Life Orb boost, you get that boost as well. It's a stab and that on top of everything. And most of the time, you have a lot of super effective moves because you just have a bunch of coverage. That's awesome. That's awesome. But, guys, feel free to comment. 
I'm, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but feel free to comment. I try to get back to all your guys' comments whenever I can. It might take me a couple days, but I try to respond to every single person who comments on all of my videos. Not all of my videos. Usually, if they're like a week behind or something, I'll just let them go. Or like a while back, I don't really uh, touch up on those old videos. But if they're newer videos, comment on them. If you guys have questions, if you guys just want to tell me things, I'd love to get you guys feedback. And I'd love to comment back and talk to you guys. Seriously, so feel free to comment. I'm, I will comment back. I'll go for it. I usually wait till like a couple days and then do them all at once. Like wait three days to do the last three days, comment all back to people. And then I wait another three days to do it again. But Intimidate comes out here. Ooh, that's a rough Intimidate. That's a rough Intimidate. Do I swap early on? Hmm. <laughs> I just want to go for a Pyro Ball here. Do I set up Tailwind? Or, yeah. I'm going to set up a Tailwind here. Things going to fake me out. What happens? Fake out. Go on my whimsy. Yeah, because of my whimsy, that's fine. He's going to take my Whimscot out, which is whack sauce, man. Pyro Ball comes out here, kicking that Rock Ball up. Oh, 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 Messi! Hey! Some big damage. This thing is sashed. It is sashed. Okay. Flare Blitz comes out. That's going to take out Whimsy Poo. That's silly probably me. Whimscot goes down. All right. Um, okay, so... Scenarios might not be our Dynamax Mon of choice. Might not be our Dynamax Mon of choice. Yeah. Might be Rotom. <laughs> Could get the Intimidate off on them. But I'm actually going to get Rotom up in here. I'm going to Dynamax him. Uh, go for the water move. Geyser him. Because Rotom's a beast. Rotom is a beast. And we'll keep Cinerace in the back end just as a little speedy guy. Um, We're just going to Sucker Punch this thing so he doesn't paralyze anything. I'm going to Dynamax and set the rain. Let me see his Pokemon real quick. We didn't have Gastron. No, we had Pre Marina. Hi, Lightning. Do I have lightning? No, he has lightning rod. Never mind. Never mind. Hold the phone. Nope. Not happening. Not happening. Not even gonna risk it. Not even gonna risk it. He has a ride you on the field. Way to think, Jeans. Way to think. Alright, so he takes out my Tailwind user. What's gonna happen? The reason I didn't want to Dynamax Cinderace is considering it's minus one. I'd rather get a little bit more value over on this Rotom. Plus, I feel like Rotom covers a lot. And I think he's gonna have that Primarina on, at, on his team as well. So we're gonna go for this. I think that's going to be a Snarl Arcanine, which is kind of scary. He's in the minus one. Let's just see what happens. Sucker Punch should go roll in here. Is this thing using a nuzzle? Failed, yo. What's this thing using? Eerie. Oh! No! No! Oh my god, we lost it. Oh my, oh my, oh! No, please! <laughs> oh, we lost this one. This one's over with. My bro time's minus three! Minus three! <laughs> What you mean? We couldn't even take out an Arcanine. <laughs> Bruh. If we win this one, I'm I'm the best Pokemon player ever. Oh my lord. Okay, so now he knows I have Sucker Punch. He might just go for another Eerie Impulse. Wowzers. What typing do I want to change to? If he goes for a Fire move. I think he's just going to go for another Snarl. Just in case he swaps, I'm going to go into this Lightning. Oh my, why would I go into the Lightning? That's my question. But still, my Cinderace outspeeds that thing on that. Outspeeds the, uh, the Raichu, so we should be able to take out the Raichu beforehand. Okay, I'm just going to protect. Totally fine. Maybe I should have went into the water. Iron comes out. I beat him! We changing the skill, baby! Wow, I could've just took that thing out. I could've just took that thing out. Why did I think it outsped me? Because right usually like the fastest on the field. I could've took that thing out and we could've been chilling here and had an easy win. Lightning comes out here. Yo. KO. Nope, not even close. Big old protecting one minus three, man. Ah, but we get the light train rolling. Which is lovely. So uh, we got electric moves and water moves are boosted right now. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Jeans isn't sitting clean. But I know I am the fastest. I don't think anything's out speed in the besides like a uh, Grant or maybe a uh, Dragon Pole, but he doesn't have either of those. He doesn't have either of those. Let's see what you got, buddy. What are you gonna pull out your little trick pocket? <laughs> yeah, this is so bad. If I win this one, this is insane. Like, we have a minus three row time. We still have Citrus Berry. Pre Marina comes out. Uh, I think that thing's going to protect, but I don't really care. If it does, I'm still gonna drop a lightning over onto it. And then I'm going to uh, take out that uh, 
Mm, that Arcanine with what? High jump kick? I think we gotta go for the high jump kick here. Which one uh, has more base? 130? We're going after you, Pre. We're going after you, Pre Marina. Come here. Even though we are minus three. Jeez, man. I right, said so Dynamax in the Pre. It's fine. I kind of want to uh, swap out that Cinderace and get that attack buff back. But I'm thinking this Rotom should be able to outspeed that thing as well. But the thing is, I need this high jump kick to hit. I do need this high jump kick to uh, come in. Clutch. I need to connect. I need to take out this Arcanine. Let's see what happens. High jump kick. Change typing. You change typings. Connect now, please. Yes, sir. Take him out. Take him out. Give him the KO. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. We should be able to outspeed. Do at least some damage to it, you know? Let's see what happens here. Let's do some damage to it. We got Stab. Oh, dude, that's so bad. That is so bad. I was going to say, we have Stab, um, Electric Terrain Boost, and Super Effective. And we just get absolutely rocked on for no reason. Absolutely rocked on. Alright, so Starfall comes out here. Boo. Citrus mm -hmm. Berry pops here as well. Um, I'm going to Volt Switch. I am going to Volt Switch out of here. That would be the smart play to do. So we're going to Volt Switch. We're going to get Intimidate Mon coming out here. If he goes for another Starfall on me, we're dead. Uh, Tokus comes out here. Uh, I have Iron Head. I have Iron Head stabbed. This thing's not holding Babiri Berry. It's gone. It's gone. It's getting him out of here. So, Iron Head. Come on, show me this thing's not Babiri Berry. And then Volt Switching out of here. We out of here, baby. Iron Head, I think, should be able to one-tap it up, even though we're minus one. I think really had Eerie Impulse, and it dropped it on me. Silver fake out user and intimidate all that good stuff, all that jazz. Let's see what happens here. What are you going to do? I'm predicting probably a follow me into probably another Starfall or maybe a geyser to take out my uh, Cinderace. Let's just see. Let's just see how this goes down. Make a move, you circus seal. What you want? You're not even shiny. Iron Head, but Beery Berry. Don't show me, don't you dare show me Baviri Berry. Yes, sir. Take it out. KO that thing. Oh, we don't even pick up the KO, man. Dang. That thing is bulky. That's a bulky little boy. Bolt switch. Get out of here. Okay, um. This actually could work out good for us. Because we get our stats back. Him on top comes in here. Him on top probably dies. No lie. With that's a gleam or a star ball. Oh, this one's gonna be close, close. This one's gonna be close, close. This one's gonna be close, close. Let's see what happens. I think he's going yet. He oh heat wave. Oh, and you knew I was changing the steel type. You smart cookie. Cinderace eats up. I love you, Cinderace. And you get a crit on that. Jeez, man, and you get double crit. Things beasting up. A jack button comes out here. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of sad now. <laughs> I'm kind of sad now. The eject button might have screwed me over. Oh, wait, the geyser comes out here. And the Cinderace? Show me Cinderace. Okay. Okay. So I have speed. I have speed. Oh, my lord. I have fake out as well. We're going to fake out the toe kiss. We're going to go into the pre marina. Pre marina's uh, turns are over. Right? My top comes back out here. Boom, 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 boom. I could wide guard. You know what? Do I even. No, fake out's just an optimal play. I was gonna say, do I wide guard? I can wide guard next turn and then keep that thing alive. I'm just gonna fake it out. And then I'm a T bolt. I'm a T bolt. How much damage are we doing to a T bolt? Come on, what you want? They're not minus three anymore, so. And do we still have electric terrain? I think it might have disappeared. No, he changed the terrain. There how it comes out. Boop. Do a nice little bit of bound damage. Thunderbolt comes out here. How much are we doing? Oh, ooh, we need one more T-Bolt on this thing. Just for Starfall onto who? Eat up, Rotom. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I have to take a defense drop. That's the thing. I have to take a defense drop with the close combat. Not very effective on both. It's whack. We gotta hope to take out the Primarina here. 
No, we brought it so close. Air slash and no, leave me alone. Eat it. Okay, Montop eats. We need to take this thing out. Oh, we fell. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's game. Wrap it up. GG. That was actually a very good match. If he did not have eerie impulse, we were winning that match. But he made a great call with that Raichu. Send it over on my road top. Put me at minus two and then snarling on top on top of that. And it was just game over. It was GG. But yo, 2-1 with this team. Not bad. I really did enjoy it. This Sly Bureau Cinderace is going to change the meta. I'm telling you guys right now, it is so strong. You guys should definitely try it out and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the new abilities. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.